Good morning, guys. So, I wanted to show y'all something real quick. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then I get this thing. It's actually really chilly out here. This is the first of the mini Friday Q&A videos. So I got a few good questions from you guys, so I'm gonna answer those throughout the day. So welcome to the video. Thank you for clicking on it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and I will see y'all for the first question. I have trouble eating enough, as in I have set macros from a coach and I have trouble eating enough to reach them as it feels like it's too much. Too much eating enough it depends on your goals so if your goals right now are to gain muscle and gain strength chances are you're going to have to slowly increase the amount of food that you eat if you have trouble consistently eating enough as in every single day every single week uh, and your macros keep increasing that's kind of pointless if you're not hitting them in the first place I would recommend as far as eating enough day to day, I would recommend finding calorically dense foods. These aren't gonna be the healthiest foods, but they're gonna get the job done. So if you really wanna hit your macros and you have certain goals that buzz, um, require you to eat more over time, buzz, <laughs> then um, it probably would benefit you to get some higher calorie foods in. And if you wanna keep it super simple and super clean with these foods, um, things like nuts and seeds, avocados, nut butters, certain fruits like dates are a great, great source of carbs and calories. Very, very easy to get in a ton of carbs with those. You said that you feel like it's too much. What exactly does that mean? So do you feel physically sick whenever you do eat enough? Or are you just struggling with getting in the calories? So if you're feeling physically sick from the amount of food, then it's probably best that you cool it for a while on those macros, maybe lower them a little bit. Let your body regulate. Usually as you get stronger and as you grow more muscle, your metabolism will increase over time. It's not gonna be overnight, it's gonna take probably several months, but it's going to increase over time, so you'll probably find yourself hungrier, but it might be beneficial to maintain where you're at for a while, and then see if you can slowly increase from there. It all just depends on your goals, it depends on, of course, your coach. What I would recommend is, is talk to your coach about it. If you're struggling, consistently with eating enough and your macro goals are here, but you're always here, um, it's kind of pointless to keep shooting for these if you're stuck, literally stuck here. So definitely talk to your coach about that. Maybe you guys can regulate your macros just a little bit, at least until you can find some more calorically dense foods to fit into your intake, just for the time being. Of course, you don't wanna rely on junk food all of the time to get your calories in, but if you come to the end of the day and you've got a good amount of carbs left and you've already had a lot of fiber and had a lot of micronutrients, I have no issues with throwing a cookie or some ice cream in How there. How did you get so strong on bench? Bench pressing consistently. I made a goal with my first trainer. He had me start doing bench press. I had never done bench press. I would never done any type of chest press movement. So we started with the bar. The bar was hard. I eventually moved up and this was 2011 2012 maybe they have not stopped since so i got strong on bench by doing it consistently once or twice a week and lifting heavy over time that's the secret i noticed that you did not always eat vegan from previous vlogs what was the reason you started with your vegan lifestyle we went vegan year and three months ago Reason for a vegan lifestyle is purely ethical. I watched Earthlings and it was done. Changed all of my eating habits and clothing preferences and everything overnight and never looked back. Yeah, it's not taste necessarily. Like everything that we eat now tastes good, but we obviously didn't leave eating animal products from because of taste. Yeah. It tastes good. I didn't wake up and think that I don't like the taste of chicken. I woke up and thought I don't like the fact that the animal had died because I like the way its body tastes. <laughs> it wasn't exactly a health thing, but of course once, mm. we, once we started down that road, we were just like, oh, we can be so healthy. And you went healthy, I didn't. <laughs> I've always been a little healthier. I have a, um, a full video about a few days after I watched Earthlings and I recorded a video, so I'll put that in the link in the description box below. The link in the description below. Some, but somewhere down there. Long story short, 
ethics that's it do you have a tip on how to love yourself if your goal is losing weight but you hate how you look at the moment what i could think instead of hating myself so this question of course it's a little more of a serious question it's really really hard to get to the point to where you can accept yourself where you are even if you do have physique goals so i'm i'm kind of i've been practicing that for a little while now and i still struggle came from a place of hating how my body looked uh, i would sit in the mirror and i would pick myself apart i would get on the scale several times a day and if that number wasn't what i wanted it to be i would punish myself so i know how it feels to look in the mirror and feel ashamed and sad and depressed and all of those terrible things and to be honest it wasn't until the last few years that i was able to actually get out of that mentality and i don't have a specific one specific tip on how i did that or how others can do it but it's a cumulative so learning to find that peace with food that i always talk about learning to find your passion in a healthy lifestyle whether it's lifting or yoga or running or whatever form of activity that you enjoy finding that passion and doing it because you enjoy it and not because you feel like you have to that in combination with the food and then having peace with your life in general so having people around you that are loving and supportive no matter what you look like no matter what you can do in in your fitness lifestyle having these people who support you and love you no matter what slowly starting to learn to see yourself from their perspective seeing you as they see you i can guarantee the people that are in your life and that love you don't see you or aren't around because of what you look like. They're not around because of what the number says on the scale. They're around because they genuinely love who you are deep down. It, it takes a lot of time and practice to start thinking of yourself this way. But one thing I really encourage for you, this is one thing that I tell my clients, is to redirect your thoughts. Anytime you look in the mirror, or if you find yourself trying to step on the scale for that validation, literally stop yourself and redirect your thoughts to something positive, to something that makes you feel good. And it doesn't have to be regarding your body or your physique or your workouts. Stop yourself and tell yourself three positive things. Could be something as simple as, my dog makes me happy. <laughs> tell yourself in that moment three things and redirect yourself. So if you were standing there in the mirror trying to pick yourself apart, name off those three positive things and redirect so go and do something else the worst thing to do is stand there and and try to wallow in self-pity and because those thoughts are just going to keep piling on one on top of the other until your day is completely ruined i think that would be a good place to start is by redirecting your thoughts maybe keeping some type of positivity journal um, thought journal prayer journal writing down as many positive things at the end of the day as you can and make that a habit and over time, you're basically training your brain and training your mind to think more positively in general. And eventually that's gonna trickle down to thinking more positively to yourself. If you practice this every day, just like you go to the gym or just like you practice whatever other skill that you have, it's going to get better, it's going to get easier, and over time, you're not even going to have to think about it. So I rarely do that body checking anymore. I can honestly step on the scale and not care about the number that I see for the first time in my life because over the last several years I've been practicing these things and if I do have a day whenever say the scale reads something higher and and that little negative voice in my head tries to come through I redirect immediately and I think of something positive I think of the awesome feeling that I had in the gym I think of the weight that I lifted I think of the goals that I have now and that's it i just move on i think it's it's going to take a lot of time and practice but i promise that this is going to be one of the best things that you can do for your health because learning to love your body for where it's at even if you're not at your goal i can understand 
some people might be physically unhealthy. They might feel terrible, but you still have to learn to accept yourself in this moment because even if you do lose weight or you do hit that goal, if you're truly unhappy deep down, you're never going to be completely happy with your physical body and you're always going to be searching for the next thing or what you should be doing or what you should look like. So learning to accept yourself at this current stage, you can still appreciate every step of that journey even if you do have improvements that you want to make. So I hope that helps. All right, that's gonna be it for this week's Q&A. Thank you guys for watching. Hey ho! Thank you guys for everybody that sent in questions. Yes, we will be doing this every week. If you have any questions or topic requests, please leave them in the comments below. And we will see you guys on Monday. Say bye, Burgundy. Say bye, little Matish cat. Oh, she's so pretty. You're so pretty. Oh, she loves us so much. Bye, guys.